What's going on everybody? Kenny Vaughn is in the building and I was planning on having a good night tonight. But it looks like it's not going to be up to me to make that happen anymore. It's going to be up to whoever runs this Mortal Kombat account on X because they just posted this. Pure. I already don't like it. Brute and Force. Drop your theories on which combatant is behind the gorilla and we'll drop the reveal in just two hours. Why is this bad news? For one, it says pure, and we know what characters want to be pure. It's the good guys. <sighs> you see the scars on his head. You see the scars on his head. This reveal might be smoke. Why would you make a gorilla smoke? I have no idea, but we're going to get the reaction live to what happens. So while we wait, let's go ahead and take a look at the animalities we got so far. And I don't even got my board created yet, so I'm going to have to go do that. I'll be right back with y'all. Run, run, boy. They coming now. All right, so it's not pretty, but we don't have a long time before this reveal. So let's go ahead and talk about what we know and what we think we know, and then we'll go refresh that X page and see if tonight will be a night of disaster. We're gonna start on the top left-hand corner. As you see, we have Cyrax, our new Cyrax, and her animality is a hornet. Perfect for Cyrax. Nice color pattern. I think it works out great the next one we have is gears now we don't know for sure if this is gears or not but i think you guys dropped some good clues some good hints i don't know if gears was actually revealed on that panel or not but if you look at the hippo's eyes based on these animals bugs having some sort of characteristics of the actual characters i think it's fair to say gears will definitely be this hippo the next one we have kind of falls in that same line. We don't know for sure this is Havoc, but I think it's safe to say, and I will say right now, this is definitely Havoc just based on the rips on his face. We get a lot more in depth when I did the video of uh, all of the animalities, so make sure you go check out that one. The next one we have is Kenshi. And this is for sure gonna be our two wolves. We can't unblock the picture because He's going pretty crazy on Johnny Cage, and he will get us age-restricted, blocked, and all of that stuff. The next one, Melina. The first one we really saw in full. And Melina is a praying mantis. A pink praying mantis. And I was about to say Melina's the only woman we've seen as an animal so far, but I forgot. Sector and Cyrax are definitely girls now. The next one we have is Quan Chi, and I think he might have been confirmed on the panel as this big old dinosaur bone skeleton thing, but um, I think it works for him. I thought it was going to be an octopus or whatever that thing he pulls out of the nether realm is, but the dinosaur bones, it works. He does sorcery and all kind of stuff, so pull up a big old ancient animal from the past, it works. The next one we have is Sector, the big old rhino. Now, this one kind of confused me when we first saw it. Still confused over it, but hey, <laughs> it is what it is. Sector has no type of horn on her or nothing, but she's a rhino. So, it, hey, I guess we'll take it. Now we have Rain. In the last video, I said I thought Rain should have been a shark because he could kind of engulf the whole arena in water. But you guys pushed back on that and said, no, 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 no. The puffer fish is perfect for Rain. So... I'll let you have it. Rain, our boy is a puffer fish. And last, but most certainly not, whoa, spoilers, spoilers. Last, but most certainly not least, we got the reveal of Noob Cybot. Now, after seeing this for Noob Cybot, I, I kind of said, okay, you know what? These animalities are going to be unpredictable. We're not going to be able to predict what these guys are going to turn into, or girls pointing back to Sector, but Noob Cybot is turning into a big old fat alligator. Well, Noob turns into the alligator, Cybot turns into the other alligator, and it looks like they actually come in, grab the legs, and do the Mortal Kombat 9 fatality where they rip the body apart. Can't wait to see how that one ends. It's going to be very brutal, but we're Mortal Kombat fans. Y'all know this is what we love. We love the brutality, 
and this one's going to be really good but we got to go refresh this x page now and see what type of disaster awaits us has it been revealed yet let's refresh and see ah it's smoke it's smoke oh man a stealthy combatant, Smoke went with pure strength for a change. Animalities are coming for all players when Chaos Range drops September 24th to Mortal Kombat 1. I don't know if we can take a look at this on this video. Let's go ahead and fix this screen up. Oh my goodness. We're going to keep this stuff raw too. Oh man, it's Smoke. It is smoke. Oh, it's so good, though. <laughs> oh, it's so good, though. Oh, how do you get this to smoke? Netherrealm, what are you doing? It could have been Reiko. It should have been Reiko. Oh, he transforms perfect, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Netherrealm, what are you doing? It's so beautiful, though. I, I love it, man. He just grabs his head and drags him. <laughs> the blood all over the body. Listen. There's absolutely, there's no way they give Smoke the best animality in the game. It just can't happen. It can't happen. Sub-Zero is going to have to be a big old nasty polar bear, a Yeti or something. And I'm going to need to see that same level of blood that Smoke had on his body on polar bear, big old white polar bear Sub-Zero. I can't believe it, y'all. This is probably the only one they got wrong. Bomb Squad, let's get to that. I gotta let y'all know that I will be giving away three editions of Mortal Kombat 1 Chaos Reigns. All you gotta do is drop a like on this video to support the giveaway and smash that subscribe button because on September 20th, I will be doing the live stream where we pick our three winners.